Good morning. So as many of you know, we're going on a trip up north to visit our friends this weekend. So I thought before we left, I'd do a video on what do I bring for Thor when we go on road trips. So it varies a little depending on the length of the road trip, but this is a kind of a basic pack that I put together for him for whether it's a short trip or a long trip. Um, so here we go. So what I've got here is a milk carton that's actually kind of falling apart. I need to get a new one. But anyway, I packed this up with all of his stuff. So the first thing, one of the most important things is some kind of comfort animal. And this just kind of, you know, helps, you know, if your dog's nervous or anxious on long trips, this just helps make them more comfortable. This, as you know, is his bunny he's had ever since he was a year old. Pretty worn, but still holding together. And he absolutely loves this thing. Secondly, some kind of chew toy to keep them busy or active. Um, you know, when they're bored, it gives them something to do. This right here is a chew toy that you put a bully stick on the center of, and they can't actually get the bully stick out. Well, they put an asterisk here. They're not supposed to be able to get it out. Thor has gotten this out by slamming it down on one end and having it pop out the other. But for the most part, he doesn't do that. He just sits there and kind of nibbles at it through the opening. So this keeps him busy if he's bored. So next, got to bring his food. Now for road trips, I don't bring any raw because that would involve bringing a cooler and keep making sure it's cool, otherwise it'd go bad. So I pretty much stick to his kibble. They do have freeze dried raw that I may look into, but for now we're just doing the kibble. And I brought two of his bags. He's got an Origin Tundra and then his Lotus. And the reason I brought two is because he has he, one thing over and over again, he can get bored of it. So this kind of cycles it to where he has something new. So I know a lot of people will say, don't change your dog's food, it can make him sick. Thor's used to it. I've been doing it ever since he's a puppy. If it's a new type of food he's never had before, I'll mix it half and half, but he's had both of these before, so I can go back and forth and he has no discomfort or, you know, no runs or puking or anything like that. He's pretty good about it. Next, gotta bring treats. So he's got his Zombone treats from Loot Pets. We're almost out of those. And then his Kale treats that we just got in the uh, latest Dapper Dog Box. Next, I bring a pair of bowls. These are his stainless steel travel bowls. Um, I like these because they're easy to clean. Yeah, they travel pretty well and they got good weight so they're not gonna flip or anything in the back seat. Because a lot of times I'll set these in the back seat up there so he can drink some water and nibble on some food while we're driving. Speaking of water, I always bring a water bottle to have in the car just to give him water while we're driving. Um, obviously when we get to our destination we can, you know, we'll have water there, but this is just for on the road for long road trips. Which Alpina is about, it's uh, seven hours straight, but we're going to have to make stops for gas and rest stops and stuff like that. So it's a pretty long trip, so he's going to need water. Also, got some fish oil. Got his supplements. So I give him, I actually started giving him these when he hurt his leg. And it's powdered actual muscle for dogs and cats and it helps support joints, ligaments, and tendons. Also some plaque off powder and this is powdered kelp that actually repels plaque from their teeth and lastly we've got his daily it's kind of nutritional it's got vitamins uh, it's got hip and joint support stuff for calcium uh, probiotics stuff like that just all around good stuff for him also since he just recently hurt himself i'm bringing his anti-inflammatory just in case so that's pretty much all you need. The only thing I didn't include here that I don't bring anymore most of the time is a dog bed because he sleeps in bed with me. Um, if we go camping, I will bring a dog bed just so he's not sleeping on the floor of the tent. Um, but you can bring that as well. I used to bring the dog bed and put it up in the back seat for him, but now I pretty much just uh, throw a blanket down for him and he's happy. So that's the only other thing, optional thing you could uh, bring with you for a long trip. Um, that's all I can think about. So I think what I'm gonna do is go inside, pack the rest of the stuff, and we're gonna head up to Alpina.
Um, so, sorry I'd come up for the uh, weekend. I know uh, Shelby and Oakley both have had some bad news with lumps, and uh, I haven't seen any of them, uh, any of the guys, you know, Mike or Jess or any of them, since uh, Novi back in November. So, figured I'd bring Thor up, have some playtime, help cheer the girls up a bit. Uh, I know Thor's been dying to see his friends again, so. We uh, kind of did this last minute trip. I didn't want to plan ahead because every since every time I've been planning trips up here, they've always fall through. So I figure if I don't plan it and I just do this last minute, then nothing's going to get in the way. And so far, it's worked out. But um, yeah, we just uh, crossed the border into Michigan, stopped at our first rest stop, and now we've got about four hours left before we'll be up in with our Alpina. Crystal Ball Frappuccino. What do you think, Thor? Pretty sure it's not doggy friendly. But maybe we can make one. He says, that sounds good. Stop on the uh, off of the freeway. Then we'll start hitting the back roads towards Alpina. But I think tonight we may head over to Justin Jamie's, play four, play with the girls for a bit, and we may be having a little mini game night. We'll see how depends on what time we get in. I was hoping we'd be able to stop and hit a few more parks along the way, but I don't think we're going to be able to. to the point where it's going to get too dark to film so this will probably be the last clips of our drive uh, the next ones will either be tomorrow morning when we're getting into something tonight we get to the hotel room or tonight if we end up hanging out uh, with some of the others playing games but anyway I just want to point out how beautiful it is up here I think I always forget that um, if any of you ever had the chance to drive through North northern Michigan I highly recommend it it just it really is neat up here. But, uh, Thor has started to get excited a bit. He's laying back down now. I think he recognizes where we are and knows where we're going now. So he's definitely pumped. I can't wait to see the girls and everyone. So anyway, hopefully we'll get to record stuff tonight. If not, then we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, we made it. Um, got a little bit of a different room than we normally get. It's all right, we were kind of late. I probably should have reserved early. Um, there wasn't very many choices left, especially dog friendly rooms. So. Thor is down there eating his dinner. Got him all set up. And I need to start putting away some of these bags. Just got, I got them laying all over the place. Get these kind of organized. And we'll see what else, if anything, we get into tonight. All right, so it looks like we're going to head over to Jessica's. Let the dogs hang out and play for a little while. So we're packed up. We're gonna head over there. You ready, Thor? Go play with your friends. I think he's ready. He's been in the car all day. He's definitely ready. Look where we are. I don't see any husky heads in the window, so that must mean they're out back. Are you ready, Thor? Are you ready? All right, let's take him back. There you go. Hold on. Hold on, crazy. Where are we? Where is this? 
What is this place? <laughs> Hear that? Man, hook ya. Come on. She got past me. Shelby! I didn't even see her go by. Who is that, Shelby? <laughs> Alright, yeah, he's gotta do his rounds. Look who else it is. In Memphis. Is this the best day ever? Sort of, maybe. I don't know. There's Thor Thor's tail's wagging. Miss Oakley's gonna come outside. And off there in the distance is Miss Shelby. Maybe looking for a chipmunk or squirrel friend. Who knows? She's off in her own little world. game night. Thor is out with Oakley and Memphis. And I think it's like 1.30 in the morning, so we're gonna go home here. Or not home, but back to the hotel room and get some sleep and get an early start tomorrow. <laughs>